All right, so without any further ado, it's my pleasure to invite to the stage Mr. Andrew Bryant, who will share his insights and perspectives on what it takes to be an effective entrepreneur and leader in a multicultural world. Andrew will present self-leadership methodologies for how to take personal responsibility and accountability to achieve greater business results. Self-leadership at its simplest is the ability to influence yourself to achieve your objectives. Say that again, the ability to influence yourself to influence your objectives. Now to do that, you're going to have to influence your own mindset, your own thinking, your own feeling, your own communication, your own actions. Namasaya Andrew Bryant. Jangan tidur. Be our own inhibitor. We say this is what we want to be, but at the same time, there is a part of our brain that is holding on to the way we are. Our existing identity has a status quo that holds us in place. Right? So back to the gym example. You know, I want to lose weight and get fit, but I like the food. I was experiencing that as I flew up from Singapore last night, and I was at the front of the SQ flight, and I'm thinking, yeah, no, I really should just drink water. And then they brought along the very nice Australian Shiraz, and then I thought, well, I'll just have the main meal. And then they bought the cheese and the biscuits, which went really nice with the Shiraz, right? So on the one hand, I want to be fit, but on the other hand, I enjoy the pleasure of eating. Anybody relate to that? I want to be innovative and creative, but I want to be safe and secure. I want to be liked. I don't want to take a risk. I don't want to risk my job. But I want to be seen as, as courageous and out there. Yeah, no. I, you know, I like to know all the facts first. Learn to change our minds. We have to learn how to make a decision. And I'm going to talk to you today about how you make a decision to get that intention to turn into an action. We're going to work on that. Please take it from the mind, bring it into the gut. Even posh English kids don't go, oh no. They go, no. I need to feel this. You need to be able to push it. Come on, push out like this. Ready? Feel it in your muscles. Don't do this as an intellectual concept. This will change your life. Push, feel it. Three, two, one. No. Three, two, one. No. Take that and double it. Three, two, one. Can anybody make you feel worthless? Oh, you see, this is the thing, you see. If you're going to change your mind, your no must mean no. What I'm hearing from you, and I'm sorry, I'm a coach. I'm going to keep it real. I have to tell you as it is, most of you are maybes. Kick in, keep it up. Now, we're going to keep it up for 60 seconds. Why? Because this posture... The guy there resting his elbows on the table. Come on, dude, pick him up. I'm a motivational speaker, so I've got to motivate you, right? But whose motivation is it? Not mine, it's yours, right? Whose feelings are they? Ah. Whose words are they? Ah. Whose actions are they? Ah. Can anybody want you a success? Ah. Give yourself We've learned so many things, but one of the key things is that the only way that you can take people on a journey with you is if you can take yourself on the journey there instead. This is about self-leadership. It's taking intention and turning it into action. If you haven't been to one of Andrew's seminars, I'd strongly recommend it. Fabulous. Wow. Good.